Fly Slab MMA and Bare Knuckle Fight fans, I am backstage with Julian Lane right after his weigh-in, and he is replacing Phil Baroni on the big card tomorrow night. How are you feeling, Julian? I feel great. Just got weighed in. Weight was good. Weight cut wasn't hard, and uh, I'm healthy, strong, and blessed. So couldn't be better. When did you get the call to fight? Uh, ten days. Ten days was all I got. You know, like, uh, Nate Shook hit me up, asked me if I wanted to fight Tiago. Phil Baroni might be out, and I was like, of course. You know, there's a reason I've been getting ready. I've been getting ready for somebody. So a, I've been staying pretty busy the last few months, and it, hey, it couldn't have happened at a better time. What are the keys to winning tomorrow night against Tiago? I would say my key to victory is my speed. Um, he's been training for a guy like Phil. He has a, uh, even has a big sparring partner. His buddy's kind of larger than me. So I'm, I'm hoping to come in there and, and shock him with my speed. And speed is power. And that's how I'm going to get the fight, get the knockout. So much of the game is mental. How do you prepare mentally for a last-minute opponent? Uh, I don't know. I just... Hey, I've been pre preparing uh, 10, 12 years mentally now, you know. It, it, it takes a long process to really get that mental part down packed, you know. But uh, we'll find out tomorrow, you know, whether I, I got it down or not or if I'll be in there just slugging it or if I'll be focused and sharp. So we'll see. But uh, I'm hoping to go in there either way and get the W and get the knockout. But give the fans an exciting fight on top of that. Which he always does. Oh, yeah. You know, the fans have been posting a lot. I don't know if you know this, but... Fans are pretty excited that you're pacing filth, saying that it's going to be a better fight. What do you want to tell your fans? Hey, man, thank, thanks everybody for the support. You know, I'm turning a lot of haters into believers, man, and, and they're starting to follow your boy, Hellboy, and, hey, showing me love now, and I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate Dave Feldman, Bare Knuckle Fighting, and everybody giving me this opportunity, and uh, my, my goal is just to capitalize, and, you know, I know it's in God's plans, so we'll see what happens, but regardless, it's going to be a great fight. Tiago posted something on his Instagram recently. I got a check here. It says he's going to put you away in the second or third round. Yeah, what is your it. response to that? I actually watched that. I was, you know, he kind of looked a little. He looked a little scary in that video too, right? <laughs> yeah. But I think, you know, that's that's the kind of fight I like because that's what brings the fight out of you is fighting somebody that you don't expect to beat. You know what I mean? And I, you know, a lot of people probably expect me to win. Some probably think it's short notice. Uh, he's crazy for doing that. So, but you know, hey, time will tell and tomorrow night, Friday night, we're, we're going to see. Anything else you want to add today before we go, Julian? I, I just want to give a shout out to Mansfield, Ohio, and um, all, my, all my team that's helped me prepare for this, and my mom and dad, my, my daughters back home, Brooklyn, Liana, Paisley, and Marie, they're all going to be watching and rooting for their dad, so hopefully I can bring home that W. All the four girls, right? You've got oh, four. Yeah, four girls, so... Mm -hmm. You better win that fight. You're going to have to pay for a lot of marriages, I think. I know, right? <laughs> marriages, cars, all that stuff. <laughs> Sweet 16s, oh, man. All right, fight fans. We will be there tomorrow night bringing you all the beautiful, bloody action from BKFC. Julian, I wish you good luck. See you tomorrow night, buddy. All right, thank you. Thank you.